If you ever had someone kind of talking down to you because your combat power or battle power isn't as high as theirs. Currently I'm leveling up my character, it's only level 18, I'm at 1404 for my battle power. And for those who don't understand how this all works, basically by upgrading my gear with things like augments I'm highlighting here, I'm gonna be really talking about this in this video. You've also got your potential, your enhancement level, and not only for your weapon, but also for your units as well. And not only just the star rarity, but there are some specific weapons and units, even in the same star rarity, that will give you a little bit more of that combat power or battle power as well. So in this video, I wanna really explain why chasing that combat power or battle power really isn't a play and you should actually be focusing on the stats you're putting onto your gear because at the end of the day that is the stuff that's going to be giving you a higher dps having a higher battle power does not equal your dps and that's not even factoring in your skill of actually playing the class and being cracked at your class that's not something that figures into your battle power you can actually be a player with a very high battle power and you've purchased all the stuff and actually be a pretty lousy player and that's why in this video, I kind of want to make the point that battle power or combat power is pretty much just a measure of how much money you've synced into your character's gear and also how much time you've spent farming. It doesn't have as much of a measure of your character's power as people seem to be claiming it has. As I have had some people say that people are kind of measuring each other based on how much battle power they have when it's really the weirdest metric to be measuring your skill as a player on it actually isn't like that at all. And I understand the irony here when I'm literally just running around doing the dive attack and doing my dashing attack. So this is the S wikis page for augments. They're called special ability on the Japanese side of things as you can see here. And I'm gonna use this to explain why some of these augments are actually better than others, even though they will not give as many battle points. So a lot of people tend to be focusing right now on the battle power being the measure of kind of like what people would say like e-penis like I've got the big number but big number doesn't always mean the best DPS in PSO2 New Genesis at the very least. So if we have a look here obviously we're going to go for something like you know we've got uh, might we've got precision and technique three these are going to give us two of that specific stat but these only give us six combat power in comparison to something like ability three which is mastery three on the global side that is 1.5 for the power there but this is giving us 10 points so if I was for example, using a sword, I want to go for that striking power or that might power. That's only going to give me six for the two points or the 2% um, extra damage there. But ability three is going to be 1.5, but it's giving me almost twice the amount of battle points. So this is why it starts to kind of fall apart, focusing on just that battle power. So if I was to make a build here, I'd probably go, if I was using a sword, maybe might three. And then if I'm scrolling down, I'm probably going to go for what like Dital Soul 2 which is gonna give me another two points. That one's at eight points. So still less than what we're actually getting for something like Mastery 3. And then maybe I'd go for Magnus Note, which is 1.5, which is kind of an equivalent of that, I guess, Mastery 3, but just for one stat point. And then I'd probably go for like Gigas Power. And that's gonna give me two of that percentage again. So that's eight points. And then, you know, there's some other things I could probably use as well as an alternative to this. Um, maybe going for like power or defense resistance and stuff like that. But if I was just going for the main power, some of these are actually giving me more power for my money. They're a lot easier to come by and they're giving me less of this battle power. So I would actually say in regards to affixes, battle power is pretty much just a measure of how much Mercedes you've got and also how much you've farmed. I don't think it's actually a measure of how good you are at the game how well your character is put together because you could just go for any of these augments even once in the future that may actually give us a whole bunch of points and it's actually something really worthless like I don't know maybe it's like um, a defense thing and it's just like a, a mix of stats but it's giving us a high amount of combat power so you should always be like focusing on what you need for your class to get more power out of it or any specific stat you're focusing on there are some of these that will actually give you more combat power or battle power and the actual augments you're putting onto your gear is actually not that great. Now I have had some people saying that the Giant armor is actually giving you a little bit of an increase in your battle power as well. So I wanted to actually put this to the test myself. Currently I have 936 battle power. If I equip a Vialto armor it goes up plus 10 but if I equip a Giant Armor, it actually goes up plus 16. So that's just confirmation that Giant Armor, even though it's the same star rarity as the Vialto Armor, 
the Giant armor actually is a little bit better in terms of battle power. So Star Rarity doesn't really play as much of a factor in terms of the base combat power, it's actually that some armor is better. And you can just have a look at the Vialto armor here, it requires level 10, whereas the Giant armor also requires level 15, so in theory it should be giving you more battle power on that basis, I don't know. The other thing to consider as well is that the Giant armor actually has some detriments to it. It gives you minus 50% of your elemental resistances, but it does give you that extra 1% to all your combat powers, and if you're not a player that can actually deal with those disadvantages of the less elemental resistance, well, is it really going to be good for your playstyle is another question. And that's a question I just want to expand upon a bit. If we're talking about weapon series as well, a unit series are another thing. Basically, all the four stars really play into different playstyles, whether you're going for more hit points, you're going for more of that combat power, or maybe you just want a bit more PP. And that's why I think it's actually a little bit weird that the four star rarity Units that we have actually have varying combat powers or battle powers. I think that's actually honestly weird and it kind of forces people into this mindset where they should be focusing on the combat power or battle power and it's actually kind of leading them into a weird position where maybe that equipment isn't actually tied to their playstyle. And while I was mentioning about weapons as well, yeah, like the Resurger and Cattleya weapons are pretty powerful. Resurge only requires level 11 and the Cattleya weapons, those require level 14. And there's another thing to mention about playstyle, comparing Resurger to Cattleya, Cattleya requires you to be at full health to get the maximum benefit out of its potential, whereas Resurger requires you to at least sidestep and attack perfectly every 30 seconds to keep up that crit bonus as well. These very heavily play into your playstyle. If you really, really cared about getting the highest combat power or battle power possible, yeah, it's something you can actually work towards. You'd probably be going for those high combat power or battle power augments, and then the equipment that's going to be weighted towards that higher battle power. That's definitely something people can work towards if it's something they're interested in doing. I have no qualms in that, but when there's people that are dunking on other people because they have low battle power, that isn't a measure of you as a player being a good player. It just means that you've had enough Masetta to upgrade the gear to focus on battle power, and also maybe you've actually just been farming quite a bit. The only actual metrics that are gonna contribute towards your damage towards an enemy outside of like affixes and your equipment is going to be your actual level and whether or not your weapon is maximally grinded to plus 40 enhancement level. Those are the main things you should be focusing on if you want to be contributing to high damage DPS with your character's build. Don't take this as me saying don't affix your gear and just focus on leveling up and only plus 40 your weapon. You should actually be upgrading all your gear, upgrade your units to plus 40. That's something you should work towards and also trying to figure out the best build in terms of augments. I'm not gonna give any recipes here because these are likely to change if you're watching this down the track we'll probably get more of those augments dropped into the game at that point in time. Main reason why I wanted to make this video was to just reassure anyone that if they're working on their battle power, as long as you're focusing on your level and as long as you're focusing on upgrading your four star weapon, you're on the right path. And then after that, just focusing on upgrading your units and then trying to get that build of the maximum power you can possibly get onto your weapons and units. And then, yeah, if you wanna focus on maybe tankiness or you're just trying to get high PP, Again, that's completely up to you. These are just some suggestions. Now, if you are looking to upgrade your battle power, check this video on the screen right now. That's gonna guide you in the right direction to get that all set. I'm Anna Mana, catch you later.